right? Mm -hmm. How disappointed were you in the last game? Uh, I'm disappointed every time we don't win. Um, but, you know, I also understand that you played a good team that uh, uh, didn't usually lose a lot of games in that building. But uh, I thought we just missed some shots that we normally make. But, uh, you know, it's, it's also a tough league. We went on the roads hard. I mean, Florida Atlantic goes to Charlotte. And that's go to Charlotte and, and, and gets a loss. And so when you're in league play, you got to bring a whole other level of intensity. And I just thought that that, uh, that their intensity was a lot higher than ours, uh, regardless of how well they play in that building. But they shot the ball well, and so give them credit. Is the league, you think, better than a lot of people think it is? Oh, no question. Uh, and even myself. I mean, if you, you know, top to bottom, you can get beat in this league. You got two teams right now that are ranked in the top 25, and, and uh, there are a lot of teams who got a lot of winning records that have played good basketball. And so uh, this is a really, really good basketball league. And, uh, and I'm just surprised in regards to the bottom teams, how well they're playing right now, especially at home. I mean, you obviously have good teams like Houston in your conference before, but now you add so many other good teams. I mean, how's it been an adjustment going from the same, playing the same teams every year to now adding so many good teams like North Texas, like FAU? Well, they're new, and you know, you got and, and they're coming with a lot of uh, credibility. I mean, you played North Texas that just won the NIT, and then all of a sudden, you, you know, UAB was in the finals with them, and then uh, Florida Atlanta was in the Final Four. And so we didn't have that and when, when UConn and that group was in the league when I first got here. So, so the league has gotten better. It's a great basketball league. And so uh, the great part about it is that, you know, that, that we're one of the good teams. You know, uh, I'd, I'd rather be one of the good teams trying to fight in this league than, than uh, being one of the bad teams because this, this, is, a, this is a tough place to win. And so uh, we got to make that here where, where, where you know, that, that our home court advantage is pretty good. And it has been since I've been here. We, we got a pretty good home record ourselves. And so, uh, so as, as, as great as it is talking about some of the other teams, uh, I always have to remind uh, the people here, Tulane now has a good basketball program. And so I have to continue to remind people of that. You just said it. I mean, for so many people, myself even, we've been all focused on football season. And yeah. now that we've kind of closed that chapter, what can people who haven't seen your team maybe expect to see? What kind of basketball do they play? You know, mentality do they bring to the court? Football's over? I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then come on, watch basketball then. Hey, come on, we got, uh, again, I mean, I love what our kids are doing. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a great game. Uh, every time that we play in here, you know, we turn around the next game, you got Memphis coming in here. And so we got back-to-back -back teams in our top 25 coming here to play. And, and uh, they're coming into our place to play a really good basketball team. And so, uh, again, I'm excited about that. Uh, it, it's taken a, us a while to build our program up to the point where we can compete. And not only compete, but we can win these type of games. And so uh, we've earned the right to play in these type of games. That's what I tell our players. You know, we, we you know, when it, we talk to Sion and Forbes and Cross, you know, when they first got here, we, we couldn't win these type of games. They're to the point now where they've helped develop where we can win these type of games. And now we're one of the good teams in a very good conference. Would it mean maybe from, from the outside perception to get a win over a ranked team, whether it's yeah. tomorrow night or next week? You know, I don't. I, I, it's the, the, my job is hard enough to then, to worry about the perception of my own players. So worry about the outside perception is something that uh, I leave that up to you guys in that regard. But again, one of the things, if you win the game, you got to turn around and you got to go play another good team, and then you got to come back home and play Memphis. And so you can't win, lose, or draw. You know, you give it your best, and you can't let this game affect what happens on the other ones. And so uh, I just want our kids to play well. I want us, and if you know anything about me, peaking at the right time. If you, any of my, all my teams have always peaked at the right time. Time. And so what I want to make sure that we're playing our best basketball as we start to get toward March because that's what's going to be really important in this league. How many teams you send to the NCAA tournament, who plays, and those type of things. So uh, we just want to keep playing every day and getting better so we're peaking at the right time. What is it that FAU does well and how, how do you feel yeah. like you match up with you? Well, they're really good in transition and transition threes. When you watch them play and they're really rolling, man, they, they, they take misses and they get on and they get on the other end of the floor and they can make threes. We've got to make sure that, uh, that, that we don't allow them to get those transition three baskets. And so, uh, and, and it, the teams that have beat us in the past, it's the same thing. We have to defend the three point line. When we defend the three point line, we're really, really good. Uh, if you look at North Texas, same thing. You know, again, we didn't defend the three point line well, although they made some incredible shots. We have to defend a three-point line. That's that's just regardless if we're playing FAU, Sisters of the Poor, or the Pelicans. We have to defend a three-point line. You'd be really good if you could defend the Pelicans' three-point <laughs> line, wouldn't you? I'd be really they're shooting the lights. They're out, shooting right? the lights out of it. So if you can do that, I would probably out of the three, I'd probably be more worried about Sisters of the Poor. That would be the one I'd be more afraid of. No, that'd be the one that you'd have to be concerned about. Yeah, because they probably got a little bit more. Uh, they, they they could probably talk to God a little bit quicker than I can, and I. I would want to be on their side on that one. Is, is this a 
Would this be a giant RPIW if you could get it? Yeah, it, it would be. But again, you know, it's it's uh, it's still too early for a lot of those things right now. I, I, again, what I want to make sure is that that we that my kids are playing with their uh, free mom. You know, a lot of times you start worrying about this and worried about, hey, this an RPI. Although they don't use RPI anymore, just sure. shows how old we're getting. Uh, but uh, Speak again, for yourself. <laughs> it, but again, well, we I, I just want them to enjoy this, continue to we continue to play well, and let's play freely. That's 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 the main thing I want our kids to understand. Play play free. If we come in here and play tight. We got no chance. You mentioned the other day, Jalen, Kevin, and Kobe had off days. I guess you don't anticipate that happening too many times. We're all three. Yeah, when, when our top three scorers are not playing and, and, and they don't, they're don't, they not even playing at, at, at what I call the bare minimum, which is what they weren't the other day, they were not going to win that game. I mean, that's you know, it's like having a bad quarterback and receiver and a running back all having a bad day. Football. Um, that, that Those things that uh, if you get that, they're just not going to play well. So is, is Cross an NBA player, Coach? Uh, I, that's not for me to determine. I think he's having a great year. I think he is a, he's a special type of player the way he plays. Uh, that's determined by some of the other teams, and but I do think that there's a that, that not only Cross or Sion or or, or, or uh, Forbes. I think we got those caliber type players that you better come in here and take a look at those players now. Before you never had to come in here and take a look at it. We have those type of players now. Yep. All right, thank, thank you, boss.